Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Loop. I'm so glad that you've chosen to join me today as we continue to spend some time thinking about the importance of gratitude and thankfulness. Today, I want to take you to Psalm 95, verse 2. There, the psalmist said, Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. I want you to think with me for a minute about how you come into the presence of God when you go into the presence of God. Or we might say it like this. What's your mindset or your mood when you walk into church? Or how about this one? What's your attitude like when you go to God to pray about something? I can't speak for you, but I can speak for me. Some days I come to God complaining. I'm frustrated with the situation. I don't like the way that something has played out. So I come to God because I need him to fix it for me. Other days I come to God because I'm selfish. I've got a list of things that I want. It may be things that I want him to do for me. It may be things that I want him to give me. But really it's rooted in selfishness, not thanksgiving. Some days I come to God and I'm full of worry. Some days I come to God and I'm full of guilt. Some days I come to God and I'm full of pride. I think a lot of that is normal, but there might actually be a better way to come into his presence, at least every now and then. This passage tells us that we should come into his presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. It's rare, but when my kids come to me for the sole purpose of thanking me, it brings us closer together. Sure, I want to help them, but every now and then, it's nice when they thank me for all of the ways that I have already been helping them. John MacArthur once said it like this, A thankful heart is one of the primary identifying characteristics of a believer. It stands in stark contrast to pride, selfishness, and worry. So be conscious of how you come into the presence of God when you come into the presence of God. Come with a spirit of thanksgiving. <laughs>